epi, but not just any epi, the Halloween epi. <laughs> It's Halloween, I love makeup, so we're gonna try to do some Halloween makeup looks. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have been subscribed to me, you guys know I love to do crazy makeup looks, so this is like my favorite season, spooky season. <laughs> but yeah, keyword is try, send the standards low. Oh, also, I got these new paints and brushes that I'm really excited to try out. I never have really done FX makeup, but I decided that I should probably spend money on getting the correct makeup for my face instead of using acrylic paint. So, I got this set, which has like a bunch of different colors, and then I also got this, which I don't really know why I got it, because it's these same colors in this one, so... That's cool. And then I also just got a bunch of brushes. These are all from Amazon, if you're wondering. So I already have foundation, concealer, powder, and eyebrows on. Just because you guys don't want to see that. It's boring. It's basic. And I braided my hair because I'm going to put a wig on. Hello? Hi. You got another Curology. <laughs> Did you pop that? Packages. Hi. Stop the <gasps> Oh my god, it's the wig that I needed for this video. This is gonna be my voilet, you turn in voilet voilet, but now it's gonna be that wig. Okay, so I just wasted money for no reason. That makes me so mad at you. <laughs> so now she's gone. I'm just kidding. Love you mom. But let's get into it. So I'm first gonna do the clown. So here's some inspiration pictures. I'm kind of leaning towards the blue clown because that one just looks the coolest. I brought you in a bit closer, hope you don't mind. I think it makes the most sense to do the white triangles first. I'm just dipping into the white color. I'm just going to make marks where I want them to equal out to. I'm just doing the outline right now that I'm going to go in and fill it in. Mm. Ooh! I should be done here. It looks kind of cool. Also, I'm totally going to be looking in my big mirror right here, not in the viewfinder. Sorry for that. too tall now I look like a clown because I took it off I hated it I need to redo it <laughs> it's okay I know what to do now it's okay you can come closer now I'm gonna just fill it all in Okay, now they have it on the eyelid, so I'm just gonna like fill in this portion right here. Don't worry, it should look like this, all weird because we're gonna put blue on each side. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on the eyes and do kind of a light blue to a dark blue and a light blue to a dark blue. See how that goes. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star and use Brain Freeze. Then I'm gonna go in shade Soaked. Then I'm gonna bring it towards the bottom. Okay, so I kinda did the ombre thing, but now I'm gonna go back in white because I feel like it kinda lost its character there. <laughs> Now I'm just going to repeat the process on this side. I'm done! Just for the first part. Now I'm going to do the dots on each side with this dark blue. Now I'm going to do smaller ones for the top. Okay! For the lips, I'm also going to do an ombre, so I'm going to use two different Jeffree Star lipsticks. This one's Breakfast at Tiffany's, and this one's Blue Velvet. Oh, I kind of want to... I just... <laughs> I just tried to put the Breakfast at Tiffany's on, and it's kind of too green. I think I want to mix the two to make a light blue, and then also use Blue Velvet. Yeah, yeah, this blue's way better. Okay, now I'm gonna add the blue on the outer corner and try to like fade it in. Now I'm gonna take blue velvet on this brush and kind of make a 
a line extending my lip line, kind of. I feel like the fade kind of went away, which is really sad. So I'm gonna like add more. <laughs> Whoa, girl. That actually doesn't look bad. Ooh, okay, this looks good. <laughs> Okay, I also want to add a wing liner because I feel like this looks so boring without one, so... Okay, I do feel like that looks much better. <laughs> I did buy colored contacts, but I'm really scared to put them in because I just realized now that I have to, like, pull down my skin to put it in. And I have paint right here, so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I think I'm going to put my wig on first just because I want to see how that looks. Okay, so I'm kind of obsessed with wigs now. I just got a bunch from Uni Wigs, and literally, they are so awesome. I also got this one because I didn't know which one I wanted to do, like a blue or a silver, but I feel like blue would be too much blue. I don't know. Should I just, like, bobby pin these up here? Okay. It's toyed. Oh, no! I whipped my hair too fast. So I'm going to put this little wig cap on. I don't really know what to do. Do I'm just gonna take a guess. Ooh, woo, woo! Oh my god, this is so funny. Now I'm ready for the wig. And guys, I'm really not a pro at putting on wigs and stuff, so don't make fun of me, okay? Oh, this is gonna be scary. Dude, the quality of these wigs are honestly so good. Like, I'll have a link for them. This is not. Ow! Oh my! Ow! The hell? A hair got caught in my eyelash. What was I saying? Oh, I'll have a link in the description. Like, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just, like, really like the wigs. Yeah, they, like, look so real. Like, literally. Oh, my God. Mm, girl. Also, I'm going to put a blue shirt on. BRB. I changed. It's like a thingy, thingy, mabobber kind of thing. I'm really scared to put these contacts in with my face makeup on. I need to put my hair back. Holy shit, that's so scary. Okay, I can't look at myself. Oh my god, I'm scared. I actually really like this look a lot. Wow. I'm like vibing. And it literally wasn't even hard. Like, you guys saw I could do it, so you guys can do it. You guys should totally do this for Halloween. If you guys do any of these looks, literally, like, tag me, okay? If you guys are wondering where I got my colored contacts from, I have no idea. I, oh, IFX lenses. IFX lenses. But also, I really don't recommend to get any lenses that aren't from, like, your local glasses place because I feel like colored contacts are really sketchy from websites, but I just took a risk because I'm a savage. <laughs> Ew! I haven't heard anyone say savage in so long. Yeah, I'm not recommending to get them from there because... I can't guarantee that your eyes will be normal when you take them out. Okay, on to look two. Hi, I'm back. This one I think is gonna be super cool. Well, at least I hope it turns out to be cool. But it's the violet, I'm turning violet, violet kind of look. <laughs> it's, um, I'm sure you've all seen this picture about it, but I'm gonna try to change it and do this thing because I saw that and I was like, oh my god, that's awesome. Um, as you can tell, I look a little different. <laughs> Um, I put foundation on my whole face, and then I put concealer on just this side, and eyebrows just on this side. So that's why this looks a little interesting. It's gonna get covered up, so we don't have to worry about it. So I already mixed some colors for me to put on my face, because in this palette, it didn't come with like a good violet color that I wanted to use. So I mixed two different shades. I am gonna use like a dark one for the outline, and then the lighter one to like fill it in. So it looks really cool like in contrasted. So I'm first using the dark violet to do the outline of the dripping effect. I'm honestly just going to do this really light just to like get a stencil down because I'm going to go over it kind of with eyeshadow to give it like a blended out effect. So I'm literally going to go over it and then go back over it with this again. So... <laughs> I think I have the drips laid out. I hope it looks good. That's all I have to say. I don't know what, what it's, this is going to look like, so. Okay, so the next step is to kind of give it a shadow and just fade it out with some eyeshadow. I couldn't find one that had an exact, like, violet color that I was using, but the James Charles palette 
has this blue and then hopefully it probably like matches this color really well this is kind of close but it's not exact so but you can you can come closer if you want yeah yeah <laughs> okay Now, I'm gonna take a big daddy brush and use the light color and fill everything in here. Do you wanna come in closer again? Sure. Whoa. She kinda thick, like wow. Now I think that the this base color is too light compared to how dark this is. Should I make it darker? Oh yeah, it already looks better. It looks blue. Okay, I'm gonna change it again. Oh yeah, see, that looks more purple. <laughs> My eyebrow, it's gone. Okay, so now that I look literally so weird, we are going to outline the drips again, but with a darker, I just mixed up a darker purple because I think that'll look way better and just more like defined cool i think this looks really good i'm just gonna do um a little bit more shading every once in a while okay now i'm gonna do my eyebrow because it's really creeping me out that i don't have an eyebrow in here it looks like i just shaved it off so i'm gonna take the same dark brown that i used for the outline and then fill in my eyebrow with it <gasps> ew there's something on my eyelash it doesn't even look that purple wow i'm upset so now i'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna do a really simple purple eye look because in the picture she just did all one color But I think I'm gonna do a light purple into a dark purple still really simple, but Yeah, first I'm gonna go in with the gumdrop from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette again And literally honestly just plop it on your eyelid then for like the outer purple I think I'm gonna mix this one and this one from the James Charles palette Um, I'm just gonna repeat this on the other eye. Kind of just look like I got a black eye. Okay, now I'm gonna add white like highlights so it makes it like pop more. Cool, I think that looks good. So I put fake eyelashes on and I normally have eyelash extensions and I think that's really bad for your eyelash extensions. So I hope it all goes well. Sorry, Courtney, if you're watching. Now I just have to like contour, blush, lipstick, all that fun stuff. So now highlighter. She had a very strong highlighter and a lot of it. And this is the most potent highlighter I have, but it's broken, so it's okay. Okay, for my lips, I think I want to do this Kylie Cosmetics Coco K color because... I think that'll be cute. I want to put this on top. It's sparkly. It's also from Kylie. It's... Ooh, you fancy. Mm-hmm. This looks good. Yeah. Okay, now the part that I'm scared for. The wig. It's going to look so creepy and cringy. And... All right. You know the drill. Uh. Oh, no. It's slipping back. Perfect. It's so gross! Oh my god! I wish it was like down to here. Then I'd, then I'd like it. I don't know if I can do it, guys. Okay, I'm gonna try a different one. Oh, this is ten times worse. Are you kidding me? The hell! Alright, this one better work. This is like, like a different kind of purple, though. That's why I'm scared. Actually, it doesn't look horrible. Or should I do my normal natural hair? This is also from Uni Wigs. If you guys are wondering, this is why this one looks the best out of all of them. <laughs> the other ones that I tried on were definitely not from Uni Wigs. They're from like Amazon or something. 
Let's try my normal hair. Oh, okay, actually, this isn't bad, but now I have to like go up to my line with the paint because before I thought I was gonna wear a wig with bangs, so I was gonna cover it, but now it's not. Okay, guys, so this is the finished product. Oh, wait, I had to get gum. I'm ready now. <laughs> this one looks like it would be like super hard, but it's not that bad. And it's very different. It's like, ooh, violet, it's in violet, violet. Cool, this one's, this one's fun. This is why I like this one. See you for the third one. <gasps> it's look three time. Oh my god, this is probably the one that I'm most excited about just because of my hair. And I really, I just want to see if it even works. So yeah, the Joker. Hey. So this one is not much like face makeup really, but more or less just like a snatched face. So obviously I have foundation and concealer on. I want to do a really defined contour, so I'm going to do a stick contour. I never put on my picture references. I'm gonna try to do like this, but also kind of this, kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna do the purple eyes because I think that looks cooler than brown eyes. Again, come in, come close, let's talk. So I'm gonna do a cut crease, a purple cut crease with like sparkly purple in the middle, but for the majority of it, I'm gonna use the gumdrop again. Getting my use out of my Jeffree Star palettes today. Okay, sorry, my face looked really weird right there. <laughs> Then I'm gonna take some concealer on this little baby baby brush and cut it. I don't know. This is the James Charles palette. I'm gonna go with this sparkly purple right here. Hmm, not impressed. Why is it actually like really bad? I'm just gonna put this sparkly pink stuff over it. It won't actually be pink on my eyelid. I think it'll be purple. Yeah, it just looks purple. Okay, this looks so much better. Wow, that looks 10 times better. James Charles, fix your little thing. It's not even sparkly. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. <laughs> Done. Okay, I just quickly put in green contacts. They're kind of like green blue actually, so, but it's the best, it's better than brown. <laughs> Can you tell? But I just wanted to do that before I did anything underneath my eye. Like right now, how I'm going under my eye with purple. In the picture, she had hers like really far down. I don't know how far down I want to go. Okay, like that maybe? Now I'm going to do eyeliner. She had hers really like long and profound. So I'm going to do that too. So it looks like this. I never do eyeliner this long. Now... She has ha 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 right here and a J right here and the other person has damage across her forehead. I don't really want damage across my forehead because I feel like that'll be really hard especially to draw with liquid eyeliner. So I think I'm gonna do ha ha and then the J. Perfect. So they both had like red bloodlines going through but one of them was like and one of them was straight down. I think since I have so much going on here, I have to put one right here, so I think I will. Yeah. How do I know when, where this, oh. Oh, oh my God, it looks so fake. It's like so red. It's like way too red. I could put like dark lipstick on it. Well, I think it looks better. Okay. I think that's the best we can do. <laughs> well, this is stupid to buy. Since I stepped up my lash game last time, I have to keep the standards high, so I'm gonna put fake eyelashes on quick. I'll see you in a second. Dude, lashes make or break your look. I'm serious, this looks 10 times better. But, highlighter time. Yet again, this is one with very strong highlighter, so I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do the same thing I kinda did with the first look and kinda go out a little bit. Not as much, but just like a little bit. Baby. Much better. Okay, now for the scary time. 
the hair. So I'm really nervous for this because I've never done it before and I have to like gel my hair and I'm gonna like spray dye it. So like it says you can put the gel in wet, damp, or dry, but I think I should just make it damp because it'll just like, I don't know, help the look even more. <laughs> I'm just like gelling it back just like this. Like, oh. Ooh, I should like put a towel around me after the gel. I honestly have no idea what gel to grab so I was at Walmart getting the hair dye and I just found this and it looked it looked organic so I was like okay um it's this ew oh my god this is so weird I've never put gel in my hair before <laughs> I don't know is that good I feel like this is really gelled back we're good I first went to Walmart and they only had like this color Otherwise, like a neon green, and I was like, uh-uh. I wanted, like, a dark forest green. So I was like, whatever. I guess pastel will be prettier. So I got this. And then I went to Target to get Starbucks. And then they had this color, and I was like, this is better. I should do this one. So I think I'll do this one. What does it even say to do? What? Oh. It says, don't apply to wet hair. I just wet my hair a lot. Whatever. I don't care. Oh, I'm gonna put the jacket on that I'm gonna wear this outfit, and then I'll put a towel over me. I'm back. I'm honestly just gonna go for it. I mean, like... That's neon green! I wanted dark green! Look at it. <coughs> I couldn't breathe! Well, this is the best I can get. Don't look at the back because it's not really done. Just look at it right here. It's not that bad. Like, this would be such a cute costume. So, I hope you guys enjoyed all three of these looks. I know I did. It was so fun today. But, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I don't know why you don't normally do, like, makeup videos. But, I kind of like them. I'm kind of into them. I like doing crazy things like this. But, happy Halloween. Like, it is the best time of the year i don't know what even what i'm gonna be for halloween yet i haven't decided i have ideas but like comment down below what you guys are gonna be but peace out girl scouts